What's up everybody? My name is Paul. And I'm Luke. We are Twin Sauce and today we're going to look at our jewelry collections. Not that anyone's asking for it, but no. one person did say on TikTok, this dance is cute, but what's with the earrings? So it prompted me to say, let's make a YouTube video going through our collection. Uh, this is definitely a new venture for us. Uh, a, a year ago, we were given some gifts uh, and just kind of started dipping our toes into the jewelry market. Let's start with necklaces. I'm currently wearing a Rigament. Oh, yeah. uh, they don't have any vowels in the actual like title, but you can find links below. It's a lover's chain. It has an interesting clasp. It's kind of like a, like a stick with a circle. Yeah. It's not so dirty, but it kind of like- You thread the needle. You thread the needle and then it, and it holds it on. I was a little concerned when I first got this necklace to see if it would actually hold on. But I've seen other brands do the same thing. Crafted London has a very popular one. Mm -hmm. um, and so this one was much cheaper than the Crafted London one. And when I got it, I was a little concerned, but honestly, it has, it has proven to be one of my favorites. Yeah. Next from Rigament as well, this is a, a 10 inch Cuban. Um, I really like this. Luke was really nervous about this one and he still doesn't wear it often. It is heavy. It's definitely more of a statement piece for yeah. me. So I really like it. I think it's got a nice, a really nice texture to it. Um, it looks really nice on. I really like a Cuban because I like how it lays. My yeah. biggest problem is it feels a little too bulky for me as a daily wear, especially going to the gym, working at home, sleeping in bed. You know, as a daily wear, I just don't find that I gravitate toward that one as much. Um, I really was looking for a five or a seven millimeter Cuban. And uh, for some reason, the when we got these, did Rigament only have a 10? Or that's just one you were really obsessed with? Maybe that's what I, I don't know. I don't know if I looked that hard, honestly. I liked the 10 inch, so. Yeah. Um, what other necklaces do we have that we like? Well, this one's my favorite. This was a, definitely a splurge. This was in the more expensive category, but I did find a used one, so I did not pay full price. This is a Heron Preston multi-chain square block. So the square is like the feature at of this chain, but you can wear it four different ways. You can rotate it around. You can have the orange in the front or in the back if you don't want the orange showing. I personally like having the orange on the bottom almost like it's a like it is the like statement but the 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 square part of the of the jewelry really does shine and it does go crazy i'm a little bit mad not mad i really like this necklace um so the one that inspired us to get this is actually last season's or the season before this yeah um a julian uh what's his last name i don't, I don't know, know how to say it but uh he's uh Jenna Marble's, Marble's husband. husband yeah but he had one and, and before it was a dye dip so it was like this like like that, this had, part is dipped in orange. So it's like, it had two different Cubans and the smaller Cuban yeah. had the dye dip on it. And it was sick, it was an orange dye dip. It was dope. It was cool. It's the same color, just like, this is just a little bit different design. I think the thing that I like the most about the dye dipped one over this one though, is because it doesn't have these like pearly chain. And I don't love the pearly chain because oh, that one like does it. sit at the bottom usually, but it's grown on me after wearing it. And I am really, really happy with this piece. Yeah. I did get it used for $150 instead of buying it for full price, which was like $280. Another honorable mention goes to the cross necklace from All Saints that I wore forever. It was a staple. I wore it every day. I never took it off. Uh, and that broke during Legally Blonde. So um, RIP. RIP that necklace, which it was a, such a wonderful gift from a friend. And so that was, that was very nice. It was really sad to lose. I lost mine at Walt Disney World. It, the yes. clasp must have just come undone or something at some point, or it broke. I don't know. It yeah. just wasn't on my neck at the end of the day. Moving on to bracelets. Uh, what do you like? I don't have a lot. And so okay. what I have, I wear, uh, we have a Rigment like loose chain. It's similar to the chain for the lover's necklace. The one with like the circle clasp. Um, but it is not the same color. We thought right. it was when we ordered it. I think that was my bad. Yes. I think I added it to the cart too quick and I just wasn't even thinking about it. It would be nice if they matched, but it's fun that they don't because it looks like its own piece. Mm -hmm. It does kind of stand out. I like that it's darker on my skin. It, it looks good. So I like it a lot. I really like the clasp on this. It's just a hook, hook and eye kind of type thing. Yeah. We did have to play jeweler though with my dad and we took off four links. And so just that was something that I have tiny wrists. So that's yeah. my own fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, moving on to other bracelets. I really like this. This is a gift from our friend Steph. It's a water bracelet. It's just, it says water on it. It's a water like uh, cuff. Yeah, cuff. But I really like cuffs because they're, they're um, kind of versatile. My biggest problem with wearing them is when you dance, they catch on your pockets. And so- Sometimes they bend. And sometimes they bend. So they're not exactly um, a good active wear bracelet. Um, no. But they are really, I like, I like a good, uh, what do you call these? A cuff. A cuff. Yeah. yeah. This was a gift, but I have a diesel. Uh, like beaded 
uh, bracelet that I really do like. I like it. The clasp at the bottom I find harder to wear because my wrists are small, so it has to be tightened quite a bit, and that's always kind of a bummer. This, and honestly, I have the opposite problem with this one from Diesel as well. It was also a gift. It is too big, so it lays almost on the hand, which is kind of sad. So I love this diesel bracelet, I just don't love wearing it. I'm wondering though what the process would be to get that resized, because I think if you got that resized, you'd wear it all the time. I 100% would. Yes. I don't know. I'd have to take it to a jeweler and ask. I have to look into it. Now moving on to our hands. Rings, I have a pack from H&M that I like. They fit very well. Um, it's a little bit sad that they came from H&M, but I like them. My fingers are so weirdly shaped that my knuckles are knobbly. And so once things go over, if it's a signet, if it's anything with like a statement on top, it'll just free roam around my hand, just wing, 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 wing. Yeah. So a lot of rings don't fit me well unless it's just a plain wrap ring. I have this All Saints ring that I wear every day. Yeah. And there's I love a these stackable rings. two rings that work really well on my pointer, and that's mostly what I wear every day. I love, love, love to get a full set of rings for my whole hand so I can mix and match but ones that actually fit. Mm -hmm. And it's just gonna take a journey, I think, to find those right rings. We do have some really fun rings, though. Yeah, I really like, so I've got some from, I think these are also Rigmint, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. Rigmint, um, which I really love. They just don't always fit that great, other than my pointer finger. They fit my pointer finger just great. Um, but I really like this one. It's like very nautical, very compassy. We have another compass one that, same idea. Yeah. Um, but again, this one fits, it, this one can fit over almost all of my fingers loosely. So it, yeah. even though it's sized it's to technically be smaller, it does not fit on my thumbs though. I could force it on this thumb. Yeah. It also is heavy enough that when you turn it upside down and clap, which is what happens, uh, it hurts because it's got a jewel on it. You, yeah, you were telling I me clapped, about that. <laughs> I clapped like this, it was terrible. I wore it to a show uh, that my friends were in and I was freaking out and then I was like, why does my hands hurt? And then yeah. I was like, oh, this is stabbing me. <laughs> I also think sometimes it depends on the day for how swollen my hands are that yeah. um, do affect the sizing as well. Um, so it's just gonna be a journey to find a bunch of rings that fit. I do think that the square nautical nature of that ring is my favorite. I love how like, oh, the like texture it just outside. looks so masculine. It's sharp, It's uh, has a lot of color and texture and uh, personality to it. So I really like yeah. that ring a lot. All right, now let's move on to earrings, which is probably the thing we're most excited about, but also, um, the most adventurous with because they're new. Also, we have the most stories to go with these because <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like it's been a treacherous journey the last almost a year that we've yeah, had our ears yeah. pierced. I think that let's start with the very first ones, which are the ones we got our ears pierced in. And I have continued to wear these since. I actually really like these earrings. These um, are probably the ones I've worn the most, to be honest. They aren't pictured because I couldn't get them back in. Um, I couldn't get the thing threaded on, so not videoed. But not videoed, yeah. they were really cool and they're really hard to get on and off, which is why I don't wear them anymore. Paul had just a regular black screw on stud and I had a like silver? reflective silver screw on stud that really caught light awesome. I loved these, they were awesome, but one of my screw ons got lost during the rehearsal process of Legally Blonde. Thankfully, it's still have the back. So if I could find the front screw on piece, the piece or go back to a like a piercing place that would actually have that, I could repurchase that, but I have not found it yet. I've gotta be honest, studs, I really like these type of studs that are really minimal and fun, but I kinda wanna get some that just do the press in, not the screw Not in. the screw. The because the screw in, is, it's a nightmare to get them on and off. And I'm, I'm, I change out my earrings too frequently to be like into that. Moving on to gifts that were given to us. We have a lot, a lot of earrings that were given to us. We have some cross ones, some Mickey Mouse ones, some Star Wars ones, a ton, and we're very grateful for all those gifts. But some of the gifts that we ended up wearing the most is the ones we're gonna talk about right now. Um, we wore these All Saints ones as soon as we could start changing out our earrings. I have this dangle, um, I have this cross stud, and then I have the cross necklace that we already yeah. talked about. And I wore them as much as I could. I loved them and I love them still. Uh, the dangle is for sure my favorite. That's the one I gravitated toward. Um, I think I like how it clasps. Like it's, it's easy to change nice out. Clasp. It's very sturdy. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> yeah. I really like All Saints earrings and I would, I'm tempted to get more from them. Um, in the future. They have one that looks like a cuff. It's like a, a thicker hoop, uh -huh. uh, and I like it, but it's significantly heavier than the other ones, and so it wasn't as comfortable to wear. But I think now that we've been wearing some other earrings, it's more comfortable, because I put it on for this B-roll shot, and it was like, oh, that's actually a lot more comfortable now. Speaking of that, we just got a lot of stuff from Rare Romance, which we're gonna talk a lot about Rare Romance. Now, this is not sponsored. We bought all of this stuff, and we love all of it. But this is our like branch out into a little more edgy kind of stuff that we, that we have always looked at or, or appreciated in other people, but never had the courage for ourselves. 
So we're doing ourselves a favor and branching out. And being explorative. Let's start with just this little uh, lightning bolt stud that I really like. Lightning bolts will be a trend. We have this stud that goes with this dangle, which is a mini dangle. It's basically just right on the hoop, which is nice. There's not any extra links or anything. It is kind of loud in the ear. For you some reason, you can it. hear it. It's not loud, it's just like you can hear it. Um, but it is, I like the compact nature of it. I like that it pairs well with the stud and mm -hmm. it's not super loud, but if you look at it, then you see, oh, they That's really cool. have a thing for lightning bolts. Mm -hmm. And honestly, we've been told our whole lives that we have boundless energy. And so <laughs> I used to take offense to it and it'd be kind of a source of shame. And so now I'm like, well, let's lean into it. Let's make it part of our brand. So yeah. lightning bolts it is. Lightning bolts. And then we have this longer dangle, which is actually why I think that those other All Saints earrings <laughs> are more comfortable because this thing is chonky. When, I, when we got it, I was nervous that it would be kind of chintzy, like lightweight because it's so big. Or it hollow or, or something. Yeah, it was not. It is hefty. It is a hefty boy. And it is, uh, I love it. I love wearing it. I love dancing in it. You know when you're spotting your turns right. If You feel it. Yeah. You really feel it. The it's... first day I wore it, I was like, well, that's a little sore the next day. But like... <laughs> I will say, that one is really fun. And then we also got this other, another lightning bolt that goes through your ear. It looks like it's actually like shooting, striking through your ear. From the front, when you're talking to me, you can't really see it. it just looks like a stud with like maybe a, a slight dangle on the back but when you turn from the side it really does showcase a full effect of a lightning bolt shooting through someone's ear and i think it is dope it's i've so seen this cool. idea in other things like with uh, there's like screws and, screws and yeah. things that i've seen i've just never seen the lightning bolt and i was obsessed with it um the second one though they have is the rare romance uh it's like a safety pin I guess it's, it's safety pin esque. Yeah, yeah. They have some other ones with like studs and like crazy. They really go all out with this safety pin like aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I want more stuff from them. But I think that's everything that I have listed. Yeah, we, have, we got the safety pin. We got the everything. Um, I mean, we got some good TJ Maxx hauls, but like from like my friend Tay. During Legally Blonde, when I lost one of my earrings, we went to get earrings, and Tay was like, "I'm gonna buy this pack. Do you just want these black ones?" And I was like, he yeah, didn't sure. want the black ones. And so I got these. There are like two of these, and uh, Luke got. Similar ones. Yeah, they were very, very similar. Yeah. Right? Just maybe like a different shape. They were like square instead of circular. And what happened mid-show? Mid-show, uh, I think it was like the third show, one of my like jewels, it was a, not a real jewel at all, fell out and it looked like just like a claw was just like sticking out of my ear. And it was relatively large too. And one of the tech guys, that was the, the scene change guys, um, he came up to me like, you, you lost something in your ear. And I was like, probably, like at this point, I don't know. What else could go wrong? I'd been hit in the head earlier in the show process. So honestly, that was more of my my process uh, of You're thinking like, oh wait, am I hurt? And they're like, no, like you lost part of your earring. And I was like, oh, par for the course. But also they were not expensive and no. But and it was thank, you, thank you, Tay. But thank you, Tay, for giving Luke something to put in his ear. But to be perfectly honest, Paul loved oh, that. Yeah. Paul loves those earrings and Paul does wear them. He likes the bigger chunky stud. But Which also, they're not expensive or anything, so they will probably break. But I love them so much. That's a look at what we have right now. Well, maybe it'll make, if you like this, we'll make an updated one once we have more. But if you have any brands you like that you want us to check out, we'd love to shop. We'd love to shop. So uh, please comment them below. Uh, if you're a brand and would like to work with us, please give, send us an email. We'd love, to, we'd love to talk. Anyway, that's all we got for you today. We'll see you in another video real soon.